do you get frustrated when your FIFA Ultimate Team player shoots like that? Well, I do, as you can see. But luckily, I found the guys at Foot Helper who helped me not to make my players shoot like absolute Josh McGuinnesses. And they can help you as well. If you want your weekend league games doing for you, if you want a bit of guidance, if you want some tips and tricks, you can, you know, ask those to do it for a price and you can get a discount if you use my code or Grandpa Joe at checkout for 20% off your order. Right, hello everybody and welcome to the preview for Hull City versus Plymouth Argyle on Saturday the 3rd of October 2020 at the KCON Stadium kickoff at 3pm on I Follow Tigers Live for £10. If you're a member, you should by now have an email. If you're a season ticket holder with Hull City, you should by now have an email with a code on it, which means you can sign up for I Follow completely free. Go and find the match video streaming pass. Put that code in from the email. It's at the very top. You can just copy and paste it from the email, put it in the discount code section, and you will get this game for free. You've still got to put your details in, but that's just because they've applied a discount code. Yeah, it's it's confusing. Anyway, up, first of all, little update. The Grimsby game, which was due to take place on Tuesday, the 6th of October the Tuesday following this Plymouth game, obviously was was postponed because Grimsby side are in a period of self-isolation now. Uh, all the coaching staff, all the players, whoever, anyone at the training ground and anyone who's been around them is in a period of self-isolation after one of the Grimsby Town players tested positive for the Rona. So, therefore, this game can't, that game can't go ahead. But it has now been rearranged and will take place on Tuesday the 17th of November, kicking off at 5.30. Uh, next up on the agenda is, because this is the last game, uh, because, you know, September has been and gone. September has been and gone. Uh, so I was trying to think of some something witty to say then, but couldn't find it. So it's time for uh, the old uh, the old Grandpa Joe Player of the Month. So the old grand no, the old old Grandpa Joe Player of the Month um, goes to Malik Wilkes this month. He won it in February and he's won it in September. And this one was a lot harder to decide than the February one was. Anyway, into the preview then. Team news. Richie Smallwood and Malik Wilkes may return for Hull City Magic against Plymouth Argyle at the KCON Stadium. <clears throat> Smallwood picked up an injury against West Ham United in the Carabao Cup third round defeat at London Stadium and will be missing until the Tigers face Rochdale on October 17th at the Crown Oil Arena. Or so we thought. Or so we thought. Malik Wilkes picked up a knock in training two days before Hull City's 2-0 win against Northampton Town. Grant McCann told BBC Radio Humberside after the win at Sixfields that Wilkes will miss the home game against Plymouth Argyle but will return when the Tigers face Fleetwood Town in front of the Sky Sports cameras on Friday the 9th of October. Grant McCann said both are in with a chance of featuring. So what Grant McCann initially said uh, after the Northampton game was Malik's picked up, a, picked up a little knock. He'll be back for Fleetwood. Richie will be back a week later at Rochdale. However, he said they've both developed. Their injuries got better and they're in with an outside chance of featuring. Tom Eaves is back in the squad after an ankle injury. Um, I need to put my phone on silent. There we go. Um, yeah, Eaves is back. Yippee! New signing Regan Slater will feature. The central midfielder on loan from Premier League club Sheffield United will wear the number blank shirt. I don't know. Personally, I think it'll be, I think he'll take number 18. It's vacant. Honeyman's got number 10 now, so... I thought Adelukan would get it, but he's got 16, so I think it will be Slater who takes that 18. Or they'll give him some odd, like, 47. Um, James Scott picked up an ankle injury against Northampton and will be out of action for the next four weeks. 
Grant McCann has no other absentees. On to the ref watch then. Uh, Rob Lewis is the referee with Simon Clayton and Chris Ward, the um, Linos. And the fourth official is Robert Aiken. On to the stats then. Hull City had eight shots on goal against Northampton. Of those eight attempts, four hit the target. The four players who had shots on target were King Lewis Potter, Josh McGuinness, James Scott and George Honeyman. Grant McCann's side had a 54% had of possession. City had an overall pass accuracy of 53%. Individually, George Honeyman had the highest pass accuracy, 68%. Defensively, Hull City made 16 tackles and 5 interceptions, 21 clearances and won 23 aerial duels. Callum Elder and George Honeyman made the most tackles, three each. Josh Emanuel had 64 touches to the ball at the PTS Academy Stadium, the most of any Hull City player. What do I think then? Gutted that we've not got Wilkes and Smallwood. Or have we? Lucky they're not out long term. Haki Badalu can look very good. Regan Slater won't start, but will come off the bench. Will McCann look to sign any more players? Maybe. I think there's some truth in the Ben Woodburn rumour, so could still see him coming into playing back up left wing. Maybe Herbie Kane, another experienced leader, just to develop players. That backup side, the, the backup side features under 23s versus Sheffield Wednesday in midweek. Martin Samuelson didn't feature, though. I think he's on his way out. On to the head to head battles then. Hakeem Adalukan will have to get back past George Cooper at left wing back. And Jordi Device will have to deal with Ryan Hardy. On to the opposite view now then. And I have got Archie from the YouTube channel Argyle Army to talk about Plymouth's uh, season so far. There's some signings, whatever. Um, yeah, he touches on both Cooper and Hardy. So you'll get a, you get to know a little bit more about the opposition. Archie, it's over to you, my, my man. I can't talk today. Actually, take it away. Let me go and sort my life out. <laughs> Hello, I'm Morgan Army. I'm a Plymouth Argyle vlogger. Um, yeah, thanks for having me on uh, the channel. Uh, shout out, Grandpa Joe. Um, anyways, right, so I'll get into uh, talking a little bit about Argyle. I can't speak on behalf of all fans. Obviously, fans of our club have different opinions. But um, this season, we've had, we've had a fairly strong start compared to usual in League One. So, life in League One, we've, we've gained um, five points out of the possible nine, which for us, uh, when we we were tipped by a lot of people to actually go down or or, or suffer down lower and the table was very good. Uh, start kicked it off with the win against Blackpool. Obviously one 0 on the opening the day, and then the crazy I don't know if you guys saw it a crazy four uh, draw away um, at Loftus Road or I think it's a Key and Prince Foundation Stadium um, to Wimbledon four all and then yeah Shrewsbury game obviously most recent one all um, we've we've all the games we played I think we've actually probably end up somehow. Um, out playing a team I'm probably well, unlucky to lose um, if we talk about our style of play for a second we're quite uh, like straight out the back we're quite offensive um, when our defence definitely needs a bit of working and I think you will um, we'll probably score one two against us to, um, against us on Saturday but at the same time we've got threat up front as well as I said we've got Hardy uh, all our strikers are currently fit at the moment if Jeff Cobb's available that is uh, we've got Hardy um, who's obviously on loan for Blackpool an absolute baller so good for us last season uh, we've even got players like a left wing back who's got the most assists in, in League Two, or I don't know if it's the most, it's definitely up there. But um, yeah, it'll be a good game. I said Hardy is a new signing we made as well. We made a lot of new signings. Um, new centre back brought in two new centre backs, in fact, uh, both on loan. One from Newcastle being Callum Watts. He's had a bit of a shaky start, but obviously he's bound to. Uh, and then also one more recently who hasn't actually played yet, who uh, a lot of fans are reckoning it'll be his debut. Um, a pokey, I believe his name is. Um, that's his, uh, yeah. He's from Fulham as well. He's got a bit. He's definitely talented. And I do want to see him in the in the lineup. Uh, it'll be a great game. Uh, all the best to you guys. All the best to the whole fans. Um, but not too much luck. You know what I mean? I think if I was to be optimistic, so I know you didn't ask for a score prediction, but I'll throw it in there anyway. Uh, if I was to be optimistic, I'd, I'd say that um, we could probably even edge a win. I mean, that guy could be more delusional than optimistic, but. Um, because I think that the Argonne may shock you. I know you've uh, had a great form so far. I've been keeping up with Hull. I believe it's three games in and they haven't conceded any at all, home or away. Uh, but I've heard from some fans your home form last season wasn't the best. Um, so let's just hope for Argyle's sake that we manage to um, pull through and maybe be lucky and nick a win. But at the same time, um, I've seen that you guys are quite good off the ball, probably better off the ball than on the ball, in honesty, because I saw the possession stats in the MK Dons match. Was it MK Dons or someone else? I can't remember who it was exactly, but I saw the possession stats. 
and it was like 66% in the other team's favour. So, um, yeah, yeah, you guys definitely want to um, want to be careful about um, when we're on the ball. But, yeah, good luck to you guys. I think my final, final prediction, I think it, I'm going to say hopefully 2-1, but hopefully I'm realistic. Probably, I'd take it a one all draw. Um, but if it's at home, and if you guys are, are on form like you have been so far, I see you guys putting possibly two, maybe three past us. Uh, we've got a very young goalkeeper in uh, who's had barely any league action. I think it's just like... It's like third or fourth league start it'll be. So, uh, yeah, interesting. Uh, anyways, thanks for having me on the channel. Uh, and, yeah, see you later. All right, then. Thank you very much to Archie for that. Uh, his YouTube and Twitter are linked in the top two lines of the description. And now we look at current form. We are pretty much immaculate. Other than the defeat to West Ham, we have... Been on a brilliant run of form. Uh, to start this season off, we've won every game in the league. We've not conceded yet. We've beaten Leeds in the Carabao Cup. We've, yes, lost to Leicester and, Le and West Ham. But we beat Sunderland, beat Leeds. Realistically, the West Ham loss doesn't look like it's had too much of a lasting morale deficit which is good, and the Leicester defeat, we can make that back. It's a group stage to kick that tournament off. We can make that back against Grimsby and Harrogate. We can. As for Plymouth, it's been jumpy. It's been jumpy. They lost to Norwich under-21s. Then they beat Blackpool on the opening day of the season. Then lost to Leighton Orient in the Carabao Cup. Then the thrilling four-all draw. Four-all draw. Four-all draw. See, it, having that break for Archie to talk to you, it's just, it's just made me even worse, hasn't it? The four-all draw, the thriller, which Archie touched on, actually, I, I still can't talk, against Plymouth. Um, against Plymouth. It is Plymouth, Joe, you muppet! Against Wimbledon. There we go. And then drew one all against Shrewsbury. Like, the quicker we move on from this, the better. There's the league table. City in third, off the top, on goal difference. Bing, bang, bong. EFL trophy. That'll get updated soon as Leicester and Harrogate will still play. But that Grimsby game for us will be uh, put on hold for a few more weeks. Um, next up then is around the grounds. What's going on around the grounds in League One on the 4th? Match day. AFC Wimbledon face Accrington Stanley. Blackpool face Lincoln City. Bristol Rovers welcome Northampton Town. And Burton Albion welcome Portsmouth to the Pirelli Stadium. Charlton Athletic welcome Sunderland to the Valley. Whilst Ipswich Town travel to Stadium MK to take on Milton Keynes Dons. Oxford United welcome crew Alexandra. Again, there's a mistake on that, but it's an old Grandpa Joe preview, so it's fine. Um, Peterborough United welcome Swindon to the Johnny Rocks. Rochdale face Fleetwood Town, our next two opponents facing each other. Shrewsbury Town face Gillingham. Wigan Athletic welcome Doncaster Rovers to the DW Stadium. On to shared shirts. We're looking at Warren Joyce today. Warren Joyce, um, he's been a player manager at City, he's played for Plymouth. Um, 55, he's currently the manager of Salford Reserves. But let's have a look through his career. So he started, well, he played his youth career at Bolton, then kicked his career off at Bolton in 184 appearances, scoring 17 goals from midfield. Then, in, in uh, 1987, he moved on to Preston North End in 177 games, scored 34 goals. After his stint in Pre uh, Preston, he then signed for Plymouth Argyle, playing 30 times and scoring three goals. Then, after his stint at Plymouth, he moved on to Burnley, where he was until 1996, in 70 games, scored nine goals. Then he came on loan to Hull City in 1995. Uh, in During that loan spell, he played nine times, scored three goals. Then his move to Hull City became permanent. And from 1996 to 2000, he played 100, 
47 games, scored 15 goals, and he was appointed player manager in 1998 and was there until he retired from playing at the end of his stint with Hull City. Since then, he's managed Royal Antwerp, Manchester United Reserves as a co-manager, then on his own as Manchester United Reserves, managed Wigan for a bit, then went over to Australia to manage Melbourne, and now manages Salford City Reserves. So he's with a lot of other ex-Man United employees to uh, play a part in the running of Salford City. On to my predicted 11 then. Matt Ingram in goal, the back four of Josh Emmanuel, Jordi Device, Reese Burke and Callum Elder, with Alfie Jones sitting deeper, George Honeyman taking the armband once again in the absence of Richie Smallwood and Greg Doherty alongside him. Hakib Adelukan starts on the right with Keen Lewis Potter on the left and Josh McGuinness leads the line. I've sorted out actual images for the guys who I don't have photos with now, so you can see McGuinness there, all sorted. Ada Luke had all sorted Doherty's. I just need to crop that a little bit more. Um, Alpha Jones again. And all of them haven't got that odd filter on other than Josh Emanuel's. Anyway, onto the bench. George Long is the first of the um, players on the bench alongside Louis Coyle, who I has still got that weird filter on. Dan Batty, Tom Eaves returns to a match day squad for the first time since the 5th of September. Um, Ryan Slater, um, as you can see, that squad number is TBA. I put in brackets what I think it'll be, though. Uh, Thomas Mayer, who has an odd filter on, which is just disgusting. And Callum Jones, who has an odd filter on, and it's a low-quality image anyway. Anyway, uh, anyway, 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 I'm talking too much. Let's get this over with. That's the team in full. It's unchanged. And what will... Uh, what will my predicted score be, do you reckon? What will it be? 2-0 to Hull City. Now, I, I predicted 1-0 against Northampton and I was made to look a fool. This game will be a completely different game to that, but I think we will still come out on top. Thank you very, very much for watching the preview. Now, finally, it's there on the intro. It's there on the intro. But, foot helpers, up there. Middle of your screen, just underneath the subscribe. Check them out, because... FIFA 21. The web app's out. And in a few days, you will get early access to the game. If you've purchased for it. So. What I need you to do. Is I need you to. Uh, hop over there. Links in the description. Use my code. Old Grandpa Joe. Give you little tips and tricks. Trading advice. For uh, the new game. And once you've got into the swing of things. If you're thinking. Oh I can't quite be bothered to play my, league, my weekend league game this week. Or oh I could do with the extra. Th you know a couple of thousand coins. To just get me this play. But I don't think I'll be able to get it. Hit them up. Hit them up. They're class. They are class. So check them out. Doing me a favour. And they're great lads. They're great lads. Anyway. Thank you all very much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you later.